Good morning, dear student. Myself, Oman. I am going to teach a fourth standard subject, SST, chapter number seven, and chapter name is a major landforms. So, landforms means physical feature of a earth surface. Physical feature of a earth surface. It includes mountains, plateaus, deserts, and plains. So, in four categories, the major landforms are divided. So, firstly, we will discuss about a mountains. Mountains are natural elevation means from the earth surface. The base is a earth surface. So, it is a natural elevation on the earth surface that is a sharp top. Its top is very sharp and slopes are very steep. Means slanting slopes. So, mountains are natural elevation on the earth surface. So, mountains are arranged in a line. So, in a line, mountains are usually arranged in a lines. That is called a range. So, when mountains are arranged in a line, in a sequence, it is called a range. So, in India, Himalayas, like uh, Alps in Europe, and in the Sina, South America, they are most uh, uh, highest mountains. So, mountains are divided into three categories. First one, fold mountains that are formed due to the faulting and faulting of the tectonic plates and due to the intersection of tectonic plates with each other. So, in India, Himalaya mountains and Alps are junk fold mountains that are formed due to the folding of the tectonic plates with each other. So, second one is a block mountains. Block mountains are formed when there is a displacement among the earth crust. When the large area of the land are broken down and some are displaced vertically. So, Rhine Valley and Voges mountains in Europe are some example of a block mountains. The third category of the mountain is a volcanic mountains. So, volcanic mountains are formed due to the eruption of the volcanoes materials like ashes, magma and lava outside the earth surface. For example, Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa and Mount Fujiyama are example of such kind of mountains. So, mountains are natural eleva elevation of the earth surface that has a sharp top, steep slopes and are arranged in a line is called a range. And there are three kinds of the mountains, fold mountains, block mountains and volcanic mountains. So next landform and types of landform is a plateau. So plateau is a top table shaped land. From base it is like a mountain but at the top it is a flat. It is a table shape flat. So, plateau is a raised area. It is a raised area on the ground surface with the flat table shape top and its slopes are gentle slopes means not a sharp and steep slopes. Their slopes are very gentle. So, it's like it looks like a table. It's like looks like like a table. So, like a mountain, they may be a junk and fold. For example, Tibet Plateau is the highest plateau in the world and Deccan Plateau in India is the oldest plateaus. African plateaus are famous for gold mining and diamonds. Means like the mountains, the plateaus are also our storehouse of the minerals like gold, diamond, silver. The next one is a Plains. Plains are flat area that is totally flat. So, plains are flat area, it is a vast area that is the most suitable for agriculture and for the construction purpose for transport industrial sector. So, plains is a vast area of a flat land. And it is a mostly suitable for agriculture purpose, for the construction purpose, like for the roads, transport, communication, and electronic system. For example, in India, Indo-Gangatic plan 
are mostly densely populated because it is very flat and fertile and most suitable for living. In the plain area, climatic conditions are also favorable and also according to the health and life of the people. The next and the last major landform types of landform is a desert area. So, desert area is a barren or dry area where is a lack of a water. So, it mostly in the desert area we can see and observe sand particles. Means desert area is an area which is a very barren and unfertile and not suitable for agriculture where is a lack of water and lack of a rainfall for a longer period of time and it mostly contains sand particle and it's a, here temperature is very high and it is not suitable for the living beings. So there are four kinds of landforms, first one mountain, second is a plateau, third one is a desert and fourth one is a plains. So in this chapter we have studied about the types of nature landforms. So pictures are given in your book, you can see and observe the different kinds of major landforms. Thanks and have a nice day.